Hi there, so this is my first Visual Basic uh, tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing a text editor. So if you want to open up a new Windows form and call it text editor. Okay, we're going to call the form text and slash, well, text editor name, resize it a bit. And we're going to add in a rich text box. We're going to dock that so it fits the whole of the uh, whole of the width of the program. If I can find the dock, there it is. Just resize it a bit. And now we're going to add in a tool strip. Okay, we're going to call the first one file. There we go. And the second one, edit. Now on this one we're going to have um, open, we're going to have save, and we're going to have exit. And on the edit one, uh, on the edit one we're going to have undo, redo, and um, Cut and paste. And copy. Now we need to change the tool strip so it goes from um, but uh, from a picture and it goes to text instead there we go Okay, let's get into the code. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, open a new open file dialog so you can view the contents of your computer. So my stream reader will basically be reading the contents of the file that you select and inputting it into the rich text te uh, text box. So this filter is just um, so you can select whether you want to filter your computer to just show text files, all files, and some others. So check file exists, this will just check that the file actually exists that you're trying to search for.
Okay, so the try is basically to try and open the actual folder, the uh, file that you've selected. And this is where it gets put into the rich text box. I need to rename the text box to document. That's why. Okay, so this is the code for just saving it. Follows the same type of procedure as open but it's like the other way around. I'll have a few more filters on here as well because you may want to save your file as either a HTML or a PHP. It just gives you the option to have more. Okay, so this will check that the path actually exists that you're trying to save to. So you couldn't just go on, try and save it in heaven. It wouldn't work. You could try. So this will basically just delete all of the contents of the current file and replace it with the contents in the text editor. And obviously if the file hasn't existed before, then it'll just append the blank file. Just space it out a little bit. Now we're going to write the code for undoing, uh, redoing, copy, cut and paste. It's all very simple. It's just one line. Uh, so Visual Basic has all the code already written for you.
and obviously the exit code. Okay, let's try and run it. Okay, we're just putting in a little bit of filler text just to show you that the program does actually work. Save it. And let me close the application. I'm going to reopen it. Um, just change the font for you so it's easier to see. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we'll call it Calibri and give it a font size of, I don't know, what should we call it? 20, 18, let's go 16. Let's run it again. Let's reopen the file. So we're going to go down to the bottom and click text editor. So, okay, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, there will be more to come. Um, subscribe so you can find out about them. And I'll upload them to my channel.